In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to update an expired credit card in Apple Wallet. It's a straightforward process, perfect if you've recently received a new card and need to ensure everything stays up to date. So let's get started. First off, let's open the Wallet app on your device. This app is your go-to hub for storing all your credit and debit cards, as well as tickets and passes. It's conveniently located on your home screen, so simply give it a tap to get started. Once inside the Wallet app, you'll want to locate the expired card. Your cards are usually organized in a way that's easy to navigate, so browse through until you spot the card in question. You'll recognize it because it's usually marked as expired or may have a notification icon. When you're on the right card, direct your attention to the top right corner of the screen. There you'll find an icon that looks like three little dots. Tap on this icon, which will bring you to the card settings menu. This is where you'll find all the options related to managing your card within the wallet app. Within the settings, you'll see the option labeled update card. Go ahead and tap that option. It's here where you'll need to enter your new card details. Be sure to have your new card on hand because you'll need the updated expiration date and the new security code, also known as the CVV. Carefully enter this information to ensure everything is accurate and up to date. Once you've entered the new information, the app will guide you through any additional on-screen instructions to verify and complete the update. This might include confirming your identity with a quick text verification or using Face ID or Touch ID. It's a simple process designed to keep everything secure, and that's pretty much it. After you've completed all the prompts, your new card details will be saved, and you're ready to continue using your Wallet app seamlessly. Remember, keeping your payment information current in Apple Wallet ensures you won't face any interruptions the next time you need to make a quick transaction. If you run into any issues or errors, don't hesitate to double check the information you've input or contact your card issuer for further assistance. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this guide helpful. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tips and tricks to keep your digital life in order. Have a great day and happy updating.